All right, so there's a bunch of new banners that are going to be coming out, obviously. And we have Nahida's banner right here, which is the Moon Grasses Enlightenment. Now, the cool thing about this banner is that it actually has Bennett, and we all know how good Bennett is. But other than that, we got Razor, who is a physical damage dealer, as well as Noel, who is a shielder. Although, Noel seems to have gotten much better with the new artifact set that she got with the defense one. So that is something to consider as well if you're going to be pulling on this banner. Now, all these characters are good in their own way, but um, it's the greatest banner of all time because there aren't any new characters that are generally interesting. And we do have the Archon, obviously, Nahida. So that is definitely going to be a big factor for you guys to be pulling on this banner. And we also got Yoimiya's banner. Pretty much the same banner. It's identical. Uh, the only difference being that Yoimi is on this one, obviously. And then we've got the weapon banner. Now, the weapon banner itself is not that bad. It's not the greatest either. Or if you're going to be pulling for Yoimi, this is probably a pretty good banner. Because you've got the rust here, as well as her actual weapon. And if you're going to be pulling for Nahida, I don't really see much here. The Woodseth could be good on Nahida if you got a high refinement. Other than that, it's not going to be the greatest of all time. So, I mean, it's an okay weapon banner. I wouldn't definitely recommend. So, yeah, it, it is just generally an okay banner. And here we've got some more of the general stuff. They talk about the banners and the weapons, obviously. Would I recommend pulling on the weapon banner? Not to that degree, but would I recommend pulling on this banner? I think I would. Generally, an Archon is always a safe bet. You want your account to be boosted in terms of support capabilities, in terms of how strong your team compositions will be with using Dendro. This is definitely the banner to pull for because of Nahida. I highly suggest you guys do pull on this banner. And if you guys want a character that could help you out in the open world and that could actually give you a lot of support for Dendro, she's definitely the character to pull for. Now, for Yoimiya, I think a lot of people missed her banner already because she was on the Kazuha rerun as well as Yoimiya together and she was also with the Raiden Shogun at one point and that is just a generally tough time for <laughs> Yoimiya to come out because these characters they sort of came out at the same time of big big hyped up character. I definitely think that you guys could reconsider on what you guys want to pull for. The actual 5 star weapon. The 5 star weapon a thousand floating dreams. So I did get that right. Good weapon. It's not the greatest weapon of all time. The 265 elemental mastery that you can get from this weapon is pretty good. It's pretty hefty. And you also get a nice little buff. So if your character elemental types are the same, you actually get an increase in elemental mastery by 32. If not, the character equipping this weapon also gets a damage bonus of their mental type, so Dendro. And it's going to be a pretty nice one. 10%, that's as much as... So some characters get an ascension stat for the elemental type. You know, Dendro damage bonus, Hydro damage bonus. And it's around 18% for level 80. So it's definitely a substantial amount for 10%. So imagine you have two characters on your team that are not of that elemental type. So it's going to be a 20% elemental damage bonus, which is mass. And if you have two characters of the same type, you're going to get increase of elemental mastery by 64. So it's going to be a hefty, hefty amount of elemental mastery that you get from this weapon. Additionally, you give 40 elemental mastery to all of your other teammates whenever you're using weapon all in all it's an excellent weapon definitely one of the better weapons um i've seen for the catalysts because catalysts have been pretty unlucky in terms of five star weapons so this is definitely a big bump in that direction however i do think that there are just as good elemental mastery weapons for catalysts such as sacrificial fragments or map of mary even or generally elemental mastery is all over the catalyst section so you don't have to worry too much if you are not pulling for this weapon. That is going to be pretty much it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel as well. Will you guys be pulling on this banner? I want to know if you are. That is going to be pretty much it. See you guys in the next one.